We've got an all-stakes $1 million guaranteed pick six on Saturday's Belmont Stakes card. It begins in the sixth race. That's the Brooklyn. That's a mile and a half. We start out at a mile and a half. We end at a mile and a half. This is a very competitive, tough race. The worst to beat is the 5 F and X, but the eternal question is, can he get the mile and a half? If he gets the mile and a half effectively, he's going to win this race. Red Rifle, the one who finished behind him, now we know he can get the mile and a half. He's a speed, but if Coach Inge also runs in here, he's a speed as well. I took a shot and picked the nine neck and neck on top in here. I think he might be the best horse coming this race behind FNX. He's not as good as the recent FNX races, but he's pretty good, and he'll be a good price, and I'm hoping he can get the mile and a half. For me, I'd want to use the 259. If I used another one, I'd use the 8V day. It's not an easy sequence. It's not an easy race to start it out. Race number seven is the TVG Acorn, and I'm looking forward to this race about as much as any race that we are running. I can't wait to see what happens in here. I want two horses in here, and listen, a lot of them can win, but I like the two wonder gal. She's a big price in here. She's a one-turn mile horse. She was on a dead rail when she ran the Frisette. I thought she ran very well in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies when she had a bit of a wide trip in there. Last time in the Gazelle, a very difficult race for her first race as a three-year-old. Mile and eighth is too far for her, and I think she ran pretty well, all things considered. She turned back to a mile, and her trainer, Leah Giamatti, did this last year and won this race with sweet reason. Like her chances, I have a long shot, too, and that's the four, Calamity Jane. Don't discount this horse. Take a good look at her. She's better than she looks, and she's going to be a very big price. I went 2, 4, 8, 10 in the acorn. Now we turn the long jeans just a game, and it doesn't get a lot easier in here. For me, I picked the 6, Falimbi on top. I like her in ball dancing. A big weight shift. I think she had a wide, big middle move last time. She has a chance to turn the tables on ball dancing. They'd be my main two. Lady Laura, the one, would be my backup. The ninth race, the Metropolitan Handicap. You don't get a better horse race than this one. I think you want to use a bunch. For me, I like Wicked Strong to upset the field, making a big run, and I'm going to use him and Tonalist as my A horses. Tonalist, the Belmont Stakes winner, the Jockey Club winner, won his prep for this race to Westchester. Looks sensational. He is the horse to beat. I'm scared of Honor Code, who has never run a bad race. In fact, he's only run a good race, a very good race. When he's run around one turn, he's back where he belongs. And Byron, the Breeders' Cup Classic winner, you cannot discount him. I went six, four, nine, seven. My main two are the six and four. My main two as we turn to the Knob Creek Manhattan, the fifth and second to last leg. My main two are War Dancer. I think he turns the tables on Twilight Eclipse in this race in a mile and a quarter. He keeps improving for Bill Mott. I like War Dancer in this race. Big Blue Kitten, the five horse who always runs a good race, and he too won his prep despite no pace last time out. They're my main two. I went four, five, two in the Knob Creek, Manhattan, my main two, War Dancer and Big Blue Kitten. Now the big one, the one you've been waiting for. And listen, even a crazy person like me will have American Pharaoh on his pick six tickets. I'm not going to let him beat me in these multi-race bets, but I'm trying to beat him in this race. I picked Keen Ice on top. I want to use him. I think you're going to have some pace in here. He was blocked for over a quarter mile in the Kentucky Derby and had a ton of run. Dale Romans has upset some big races before. He might do it on Saturday in the Belmont Stakes. And Materiality, the horse for Todd Fletcher, also had a trouble trip in the Derby. I want him very much. Five, seven, and eight to finish up this pick six. It is an amazing sequence, and it is guaranteed at $1 million. Mm-hmm.